Hey, this is Jay at Hands On Recipes. Today, uh, you know, we, we got a, a turkey breast. Last, uh, last couple weeks, we cooked uh, a turkey and we took some uh, injector and we injected the turkey. But today, we got a turkey breast and we gonna uh, put it on a rotisserie on a grill. And uh, we're not gonna use the uh, Tony's uh, injector seasoning. What we gonna use this time is some salt, some pepper, and some garlic powder. Now this is my breast. What I did is I went on and put the salt, the pepper, garlic powder, and I just seasoned it all around you guys. This is the way I did it here, and I, lit, and I put it in this bowl, and I put a top on it, and I put it in the refrigerator for about three hours, just to let it marinate in just those seasonings. If you want to inject your turkey, that's fine with the uh, with your type of injector or butter or whatever you see fit for uh, your breast. Uh, that's what you do. But we're gonna put this on a rotisserie grill and uh, and let it cook for about hour and a half, maybe two hours. But we'll have it all on the website. Uh, the time it took to cook it, and we're gonna. Uh, that's where you can find all your information at. Okay, we're going to put it on the grill now, and on your grill, you know, we're not going to show you how to put this on the rack, because if you got a grill with a rotisserie on it, then you use your type of rack to put it on your grill. Okay, we're going to move this on out to the grill and get it started. Okay, guys, we got the uh, turkey breast out here on the grill, and there's one other thing I meant to tell you guys about. And that was uh, when I was telling you I put all my ingredients on there and let it uh, and let it marinate for three hours. I forgot to tell you guys you gotta rub your uh, turkey breast with olive oil. You rub it with olive oil first, then put your ingredients on it, then put it in the uh, in the refrigerator for three hours. Uh, so now we already got it out here, but all these instructions is gonna be on the website, so you you uh, it'll be explained on the website too. Okay, here we go. This is the turkey breast on the rotisserie, and that's what uh, this is gonna be real moist. It's gonna be juicy, and it's, this is gonna make a difference in your turkey breast. So we're gonna let this thing run for about two and a half, three hours, and we're gonna come back in the middle, sort of let you see it a little bit, and then we're gonna take it on the rest of the way. Okay, we'll be right back and just let it cook a while. Okay guys, I just wanted to let you guys, I told you I was gonna uh, come back and let you look at it. Uh, it's browning up real good. Look at that. You see how it's browning around the edges, the rotisserie with the heat behind there? It's coming along real good. So the next time you see it, we're going to have it off the grill, and we're going to uh, let you look at it on the table, and we're going to take a slice out of it. All right, we're going to let it keep going. See you when we get finished. Okay, guys, we're back. We got our uh, turkey breast uh, off the grill. We done took it off the prongs, and we're ready to cut into it. I guess you can see all the good stuff we got up here for you to go with this turkey breast. We got a little yams, we got some collards, some corn, potato salad, dressing. Got to have that dressing now with the turkey breast. Got a little cake here, red velvet cake. Um, just got a little everything. I ain't even gonna tell you what this is. I ain't even gonna tell you what that is. But that is so good. All right, let's get the carving now. We're going to go on with the turkey breast and uh, get it going here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take a good slice out of here. But if you can look at the turkey breast and you can tell how moist it is uh, by just the looks of it. So we're going to carve it right here. We're going to take a piece off of it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. You want to turn sideways on it, but it'll be all right. Yeah. There we go, right there. Look how that just goes right on that place. Look at the moistness in there. It fits right in that plate, don't it? Looks good. All right, now this is the taste test 
I wish you guys could be here to taste it, but I gotta taste this. Wee! Mm -hmm. You talking about some kind of good. And we didn't even put a whole lot on them. All we did is uh, put a little uh, salt and pepper, uh, garlic salt. That's about all, and a little olive oil. And it come out right nice and juicy. Uh, I guess I better taste a little bit of this potato salad. See how that goes down. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. You just have to be here to get all this good food. Here come the yam getting ready to go down. Mmm, mmm. You know what? I'm going to let y'all go. I'm just doing too much to you here. But uh, I'm getting ready to tell you what you do. Well, we getting ready to do Southern style. We getting ready to, excuse me. Uh, first of all, I want to tell you how long it took us to cook this. It took us about two hours or a little more. But it's according to your grill, what uh, type of grill you got and uh, how it heats up. So you just got to keep a check on it to make sure your uh, turkey breast is done. You can also uh, stick a thermometer in it and make sure the temperature is right in the middle of it before you take it off your grill. And uh, But we're going to have everything on the website for you guys to uh, go by. And uh, like I said, I'm getting ready to tell you what you do Southern style. Southern style is we getting ready to tear it up. <laughs> This is Jay at Hands On Recipes. Put your hands on me. <laughs>